To draw a measurement grid on the breast, we start with the subject in the approximate position in which they will be measured. We then palpate the breast to locate the tumor. It is often helpful to have the subject point to or show you where the lesion is. In this case, we're going to assume that the lesion is in this area. If the lesion were on the side of the breast, it's helpful to use a pillow to prop the subject up so they are leaning slightly to one side. If the lesion is on the underside of the breast, have the subject raise their arm over their head if it is comfortable for them to do so and they can maintain that position for the entire measurement period. Next, we locate at least two landmarks on the breast, such as moles, birthmarks, scars, or visible veins. We don't want to use a fresh scar, such as uh, from the biopsy, as this may fade too much over the course of chemotherapy. Next, we take a transparency sheet that is pre-printed with a 1 by 1 centimeter grid, and with a permanent marker, write the subject ID number and the side that you will start with. In this case, the right breast. Take the transparency sheet and place one of the dots over the nipple. This will be the origin point of our grid. Mark the nipple and the areola. Since we're using a mannequin, the transparency sheet is not conforming as nicely as it will on a real breast. Next, mark the previously identified landmarks and indicate the area of the lesion. And finally, mark the corners of the measurement grid, making sure to get as much normal tissue as possible surrounding the tumor, and ensuring that you have a rectangular shaped grid. Once you have the transparency sheet fully labeled, flip it over to the back side and use the surgical marker to mark each point of the measurement grid. For the purposes of this video, we've already marked these points. Flip the transparency sheet over once more so that you can now read the labels and place the origin point over the nipple and locate the landmark points, placing these on the breast and then place even pressure over the measurement grid area to transfer the points onto the breast. Lift the transparency sheet straight up off the breast so that you don't smear any points. Check the measurement grid area and fill in any points that are faint or missing as needed. Here we see a nice clear grid that is easily visible for the operator. Before beginning the measurement, place the probe at each of the four corners of the measurement grid in order to determine the optimal orientation of the probe such that you can maintain good contact and access each of the points on the measurement grid. You may need to rotate the probe in order to reach all of the points. When we begin the measurement, we start at the upper left corner of the grid and translate the probe along the rows. When placing the probe for a measurement, you want to use only enough pressure such that the source and detector are in good contact with the skin, not so much that you are significantly deforming the breast. When measuring the other breast, we first need to recreate the subject positioning, including any pillows or arm positioning as noted. The orientation of the probe should be mirrored on the other side. If you had the probe in this position on the right, you would flip the probe and place it in this position on the left. Again, we start at the upper left corner of the grid and translate left to right. For each breast measurement, the probe orientation needs to be kept consistent, as well as on any subsequent measurements.